Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. On. that's on. That's on. That's on, Jason. This is the hour, the darkest place. Dante's in front of the devil's <laughs> maze. It's a good world. Almost 200 k's at the sea. <laughs> we made it! <laughs> Make it a cross bump? Yeah. <laughs> Party's over, Lise. Hello! Oh, We're back. <laughs> Party's over. Where are you going? Oh, okay, Hey all, in Cairns. You haven't guessed already? Flew up yesterday and jumped on with Greg and Lise. It's been a couple of weeks up here, we haven't been this far north and um, we were very envious of their trip last year with the reefs and that that they got to dive and explore. So yeah, up here for just short of two weeks and um, had the day yesterday just kicking around Cairns and getting a few supplies, supplies. So yeah, we're just punching out now, just left that up marina and um, just going around the corner really to see what it's like. The weather, of course, is not the best. It's just typical for our year, really. Um, but it's not gonna be too bad. It's just, yeah, be hovering around that 15s-ish for pretty much forever. So um, anyway, we'll see how we go. So no real plan as such, just heading out to the reef. Um, if we get a good window next week, we're hoping to get out to Holmes Reef, out to the Coral Sea, which would be unbelievable. I feel like we shouldn't talk about it because every time we say we want to do something, it doesn't happen. Alright, then we don't want to do it. Nah, I want to just boat. hang around Barren, Barren River. <laughs> oh, but if anything, that thing I was looking forward to as well is uh, we get to sail. So, um, actually the last time we got on with Greg and Lee's going through the bunker group, it was, we were heading south and it was flat. So, um, yeah. yeah, we'll get to do a fair bit of sailing. So, back on the ropes, learn a few things. Might, uh, convince me otherwise other than power cap we'll see. <laughs> Jules are keen. We'll see how we go. <laughs> We're just coming into the reef at Moore Reef. Lisa's is up the front with uh, got the headset on so she can talk to Greg. Pick their way through the bombies. Say so more reef, anchored up. Day one. Well rested. Yeah, Jill's is in toes up, cashing up on some Zeds. Why wouldn't you? It's recovery. It's um, yeah, we're quite close still to Cairns. Like, I see you here. Well, that's Fitzroy Island there. Cairns is just just around that point there. Day so, one. Um, we're at the reef. Yeah. We're at the, the reef, and you can still see land. So. Yeah, it's gold. Something eh? different for us. It's been pretty much 22 odd knots all the way. You've seen how um, rough it was on the way out, but yeah, it's apart from a little bit of wind chop. Glorious in keep here on cool. the big rig, so. Um, a bit of wind will keep it cool. 
Yeah, we were just navigating through a few of those bombies and that ended up in sort of central-ish. Anyway, set the anchor. Green. Green. So hopefully there should be some nice fish life in that and we'll have a bit of lunch, I guess, and get in for a dive. So it'll be gold. That's one. So we're still at Moor Reef, uh, but we just lifted the anchor and we're moving a little bit closer to some other bombies that we're going to dive today, just to um, put us closer so we don't have to travel as far in the dinghy with all the gear and four of us. So plenty of eyes just looking out for anything that <laughs> we might come a little bit close to, but find a nice little spot to anchor up. Hopefully get some nice dives in today. This is the compressor that Greg uses there to pump the tanks up. Junior Bauer 2. I think it's pretty much from what we've heard, it's pretty much what everyone's using. So it's just the petrol version though, rather than have the you can get electric version if you've got a big enough Jenny. A pretty straightforward setup. Just makes a bit of noise for a while, but who cares, eh? Now we got the size of that deck you play a game of footy on it though. So yeah, we're about to go soon and um, hopefully we get some good footage cruising through the caves and stuff. Just brings another element so you're not just chasing big fish and stuff like that. It's been pretty cool. There's a lot of cracks and crevices and caves and that to go into, which is, oh man, it's pretty out there for us anyway. Only sort of, you know, um, starting back off the diving thing again. So being a bit worried about Jill, being a bit freaked out about it, but she, um, she went really good on the last one. so. Starting to get a bit more comfortable and doing that sort of stuff. It's pretty cool like, getting into those crevices where like you can just fit through, you know, and you're looking around and like you're obviously, tw you know, 15, 20 meters down in a cave under a rock somewhere. I haven't seen many big fish, which is surprising for a green zone. I've seen some big uh, oyster cracker parrots yesterday, but um, yeah, nothing real substantial as yet, but yeah. So we'll just see how we go this RV and then I think we're going to move on to another reef tomorrow, but we'll see how it goes. Unfortunately, it's going to be sort of 15 20s for the next, for pretty much our whole trip. So uh, that's a bit disappointing for as far as what we wanted to do, but I mean, at the same time, we're out in the reef and um, happy days, eh? So lucky to be on the boat. All right? Let's go do it.
apparent with speed of about 25. Head for the Milne Reef. Where are we, Jozza? Milne Reef. <laughs> 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 Milton Reef, you nice. say it real fast. That's a bit better. A Milton Reef. <laughs> Good dive, babe. So, Milton Reef, it's um, lived up to its uh, expectations. Greg and Lise had big wraps for it. We've seen some photos before we went down. And um, yeah, we just did a dive then. And um, oh, on yeah. On a different spot to where they've dived previously. So yeah. New spot. Unreal. Unreal. Um, we're down to almost 30 meters there, but it's just a pretty much a column straight up. There's a couple of little bombies around it in the deep stuff, but just so much fish, like big schools of red bass, trevally, barracuda, trout, mary wrasse, little bait fish, clown sharks. fish, sharks. Oh, it was it was awesome, really good. It Can was an aquarium. <laughs> cannot wait for the Savo to go and do ones near it. So um, yeah, awesome. So I uh, see it from the boat, really? Is it just there? Yeah, yeah, that's it, just right there. So yeah, unreal that it's this close, and um, yeah, we might even cruise along the edge here later on for a bit of a snorkel or something, we'll see. I'd say we might be here for a day or two now since that was so good. We haven't done a snorkel yet because we've been spoiled with dives, so. Yeah, so. Can out. Can't wait to show you guys, so check this out. I spend way too much time looking at this fish. It's a Maori sea perch. Very close looking to an emperor. Had a little mate with him. They were both around probably the six, seven, eight kilo mark. Really cool. Oh, red bass at the back of the boat, if you don't mind. Obviously, they know that they can't. You can't eat them. So, yeah, as we leave. Mill and Reef, heading for Michaelmas, getting to learn the ropes, finally get a chance to throw the sails up, enjoy the quiet part of cruising. There's definitely something about it we both enjoy. It. Really cool. In the next episode, we get to Michaelmas, I have my first crack at kiteboarding, check out some sandy caves, Fitzroy Island, of course a little bit more diving. Loving the cans well. See you then.